A Democrat has represented Northwest Indiana in Congress for more than 90 years. Frank Mervan for the last four. Republican Randy Niemeyer and Libertarian Dakota Miskis both eager to represent a different option for voters. This district has transitioned into something that is competitive, which is good for the member of Congress, because I have to have an open dialogue with everyone. We've seen an influx of people move from Illinois here in the Northwest Indiana, and they're voting with their feet and their wallet, and they're voting more Republican. Young people like me around 25, uh, we're just kind of getting fed up. It's like we live in a world that's run by people that don't have to live in it as long as we do. For the last four years, Mervan says he's been working in Washington to bring new infrastructure and new investment to Northwest Indiana, including securing funding for a massive multi-billion dollar hydrogen hub at the BP Whiting oil refinery. Both big steel producers in Northwest Indiana agreed to use hydrogen so that we will have a cleaner steel and be able to market it globally. So that gives longevity to our steel industry. Niemeyer believes too many people in Northwest Indiana are coming up short, pointing to federal spending during COVID and an ensuing 40 year high inflation rate. Miskis pointing to the challenges facing Gen Z as they begin their adult lives. Most of our parents, it was a one job household and that was enough to take care of the whole family. People that are out here working hard every day, the, the, the skilled laborers, the middle class people, uh, they feel it more than anyone. Niemeyer co-owns a fourth generation trucking business, also a truck driver himself. He says he's logged more than three million miles on the road, a background he believes resonates with voters. I'm one of them. Right, I've, I put on my work boots and carry a lunchbox to work. Meanwhile, Mervan says his work speaks for itself, referencing new commuter rail service planned for Southern Lake County. We have delivered and we have outcomes to show that and we want to continue to make sure that Northwest Indiana and the region continues to thrive 